Often I am permitted to return to a meadow, as if it were a scene made up by the mind that is not mine, but is a made place that is mine. It is so near to the heart, an eternal pasture folded in all thought, so that there is a hall therein that is a made place, created by light, where from the shadows that are forms fall. This is a poem by Robert Duncan, which has followed me around for many years and informed the title of the pom-pom sculpture in the corridor. This exhibition has movement inside of it, physically linking all the paintings and ceramics and pom-poms in the show. And more than ever, I felt that these works exist very much in the present. The works themselves are reflections of the news and events in our daily lives. I guess as an artist, I live through the experience of others, and I imagine the possibilities of what art can be through an understanding of what has existed and what we imagine can exist in the future. This, of course, is a made place. It's not without some sadness that these works exist in a fantastic realm of the quotidian. I mean, this work is made in a time of international crisis. All the signs or symbols appearing in this show are seen through the challenges of this time. I look to what the writer Jose Esteban Munoz called a not quite here in his book Cruising Utopia. We must strive in the face of the here and now's totalizing rendering of reality to think and feel of a then and there. Some will say that all we have are the pleasures of this moment, but we must never settle for that minimal transport. We must dream and enact new and better pleasures, other ways of being in the world, and ultimately new worlds. This is a time when we're promoted or provoked to produce alternatives to structures, to levels of participation, systems of sharing. I think what happened in my studio over the past couple of years was some kind of production of an alternative reality. The landscape's transition into distortions of historic works found in the Metropolitan Museum of Art's online database, or some memories of visiting the Rodin Museum's garden and zoning out over the gates of hell. It's important to be present, whatever that means in today's more limited physical world, to respond to situation and place. We are not placeless. In fact, many of us are more grounded and locked into place than we've ever been. I knew that if I was able to make this show, it would need to be soft, blush, tactile, and responsive. I think what I take away from this show is not to allow for the weight of reality to bring us down into not living. You gotta live, sis, and look up through the window. It's gonna be springtime soon. I'm Matthew Lutzkanoi, and this is my show, Window to the Clouds.